As a parent, you're the most important person in your child's life. All children and adolescents have the right to a good and healthy life with friends and family. They should have the opportunity to develop and prosper. They should be educated so that as adults they have the opportunity to gain employment and to support themselves. It is the parent's responsibility to care for the child and to ensure the child is cared for and develops on an equal basis with other children. A large part of the child's life takes place outside the family. It's therefore important that parents actively monitor the child's everyday life, both at school and during their free time. Not all children, however, are given sufficient support by their parents to be able to perform well in school or during their free time. This can mean that children do not develop well and that it'll be difficult for them to get an education or a job. Parents can, however, get help to better support their children. Parents, teachers and social workers will help to ensure that all children and young people are well cared for and have a good life, even when they become adults. Welcome. Thank you for coming. The municipality has called you to a meeting. It's important to attend the meeting so we can talk about how you can help and support your child now and in the future. That's what this meeting will be about. As a parent, you can support your child, for example, in the following ways. Ensure that your child goes to school. Participate in parent-teacher meetings at school. Be involved in your child's leisure activities, such as sports or music. Make a schedule with your child, for example, regarding bedtimes or curfews. Participate in a parenting program. Be aware of what your child does in his or her spare time and whom he or she is with. Participate in other meetings about helping and supporting your child. Now you know a little about the meeting topic. Watch this film about 13-year-old Jamal. Who teaches your child how to interact with other children and adults? Hey, go home now. Are you going home? Jamal runs away from his school. He has once again been quarrelling and fighting with some of the boys from the class. He's both angry and sad about this. He always seems to be the one who's blamed. <laughs> Jamal often hangs out with boys who are troublemakers. They're often destructive of other people's things. <laughs> Jamal's parents know that Jamal gets into trouble, but they don't know what to do about it, as Jamal won't listen to them. Children need to learn to interact with other children and adults in a good way, and to learn to resolve conflicts. This is important for a child's development and for them to be able to perform well in the future. The school has sent a letter. It says that Jamal is not doing well at school. He finds it difficult to be with the other children and teachers, and he often skips classes. It also says that Jamal's teacher and the school principal would very much like to talk to the parents about Jamal. What did you do this week? asks the father. Jamal doesn't tell the truth. He's afraid of the consequences. Jamal is tired of fighting so often with the other kids at school. He doesn't know how to interact with his classmates, and they always end up being enemies. 
Jamal thinks that school is boring. The school work can also be difficult for him, and that's why he sometimes skips classes. Jamal dreams about what it would be like if he had more friends in class and if he could get help for his schoolwork. Jamal also wishes his parents would attend meetings at school. Jamal. If a child has problems at school or with friends, the child needs the parents to work together with the school for help. But sometimes this doesn't happen. Jamal doesn't tell anyone that he was in a fight and that he ran away from school, but he does say that he's always the one who gets blamed when there are problems. Jamal's father and mother are a bit afraid of what the school would do to Jamal if he misbehaves. They also think it's a bit hard to talk to Jamal's teacher. They don't know what to say to him. Therefore, they choose to just stay at home. All children and adolescents have the right to a good and healthy life with friends and family. They should have the opportunity to develop and prosper. They should be educated so that, as adults, they have the opportunity to gain employment and to support themselves. But for Jamal to succeed, it's essential that he receive help from his parents and other adults regarding how to interact with other children and teachers. Jamal's parents are called to a meeting. Welcome. They meet with a social worker and an interpreter. <laughs> Together, they'll find out how they can help Jamal with the problems he has. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for coming. partnership for your child's development and well-being.